Hello, my dears. My name is Mubin Rahimov. I am a teacher of uh, Bukhara State University and Afshona Public Health Technic School named after Avicenna. So today we are going to talk about Discover Uzbekistan and I am going to talk about Pishku district. So what is the features of Pishku district? Here was born the famous physician of the world, Avicenna. Now uh, let's have a look on the village Afshona. There is a medical college. So this is an uh, academic building of our medical college. So this is an informational resources center and here you can see the dormitory. And last, it's very interesting, so it's a museum of Abu Ali ibn Sino. Let's have a trip on Abu Ali ibn Sino museum. So uh, Discover Uzbekistan is a theme of the subject integrated language skills. And now uh, let's enter to the museum of famous physician Abu Ali ibn Sina. Now, dear students, we are inside of the museum of Abu Ali ibn Sina. Uh, so let's talk about the history of this museum. The museum was, was built in uh, 1980 on the thousandth anniversary of Abu Sina, and in 2006 it was reconstructed. So the museum consists of seven halls. So the first thing. Uh, I want to show you. This is a model of a great city of Bukhara, Paikent. Here is a model of the drugstore of the 7th century. It means that this drugstore is ancient than the epoch of Avicenna. So uh, the first hall is called the epoch of Avicenna. In this hall you can see also uh, the first historical cities of Bukhara in 7th and 10th century. And here are some dishes and ceramic items which were found from Bukhara of 9th, 11th century. Lamps are also of 9th and 11th century. So here are also the things which are dedicated in 9th, 11th century. This is the most ancient item of the museum. Water pipes of 9th and 11th century, so they are made from ceramic. Here are, you can see some ceramic items which was made by handcrafts of Bukhara in 9th, 11th century. Poikent, Poikent is also the ancient city of Bukhara. So the next hall, predecessors of Abu Ali ibn Sina, so the famous scientists who lived and worked in the epoch of Abu Ali ibn Sina. Al-Khwarezmi, the initiator of number nil. So Al-Razi, he was a great uh, philosopher and at last he was a great physician also. So Firdausi, a great historian who wrote the history of Persian people named by Shahnameh. Fergani, he was the initiator of Nilon matter. Uh, Farabi, he was a great philosopher in Central Asia who learned the works of Aristotle and wrote some notes to the works of Aristotle. So this is an old vision of Afshona in 1949. In that period, this village was called Ispane. In 1970s, it was renamed as Afshona. Here is a model of the living house of Abu Ali ibn Sino. So, on the first floor, he looked after sick people. Uh, at the second floor, there was a library. So, in Tajik language, it was called Bolahona, which later in Europe became to call as balcony. The map of Great Silk Road, and here you can see also the map of living life of Avicenna. So he was born in Afshona, then moved to Gurgan, Nisa, so uh, Obivart, Tuz, Nishopur, and at last Isfahan are the cities of Iranian Republic. Dear students, now we are in a, on the third hall, which was called so, uh, traditional medicine of Abu Ali ibn Sina. Here you can see some methods of treatment which were used by Avicenna during so the treatment of patients. The methods of herbs, uh, treating by herbs. 
So the method of treating by coagulation. So it means to burn a sick places. And by leeches. So, uh, dear students, uh, I want to pay attention to this writing, so note. The main purpose of medicine is maintaining health of man if it has been lost, find and annihilate the reasons of illness and recover health. So, this is a saying of Abu Ali ibn Sina. Now, very important, so, uh, items of the museum are the collection of the copies of medical equipments of that period. So uh, this copy was made in city Leningrad in 1980. The next hall, great scholar and philosopher, here you can see the copies of the books of Avicenna. So from history we know that he wrote more than 500 books and 238 of them are known. And now some books are so uh, kept in a so uh, library of uh, Institute of Oriental Languages. A famous picture which was drawn by a German painter in 1307 here you can see the operation of caesarean section, which was made by Avicenna. And now we are in the center of the museum. This is the main hall of the museum, and it calls the image of Avicenna in modern art. So this is a picture of the first gravestone of Avicenna. Why first? Because when he was died, he was buried with sick, uh, poor people. So, outside of city Hamadan. In 1954, the government of Iranian Republic so decided to build a mausoleum for Abu Ali ibn Sina. And it was a problem to remove the bones inside of this mausoleum because, so by the rules of Islam, it's, it's not uh, possible to open the grave and took the bones from uh, the grave. And they made an underground way until the old grave of Avicenna and removed all the bones inside of this mausoleum. So, uh, in this expedition, there was an Iranian scholar, Said Nafisi. So, he took on photo the skull of Avicenna from two sides and gave these photos to the famous scientists of uh, Russia, Ternovsky and Petrov. They, with the students, so Sakalova, Hamidulin, and Gerasimov, made the first vision of Avicenna according to the photos of Said Nafisi. But this sculpture was not adopted by UNESCO as original. In 1958, it was founded the book of Jurjani. So Jurjani was a close uh, pupil of Abu Ali ibn Sina. So he wrote on his book about the autobiography of Abu Ali ibn Sina. According to these facts, the Uzbek scholar Yusuf Otabekov and Soviet scholar Hamidulin made another sculpture of Avicenna and it was adopted by UNESCO as original. So dear students, there are a lot of pictures about that Avicenna is a great musician, so astronomer, anatomer, so poet, uh, biologist, so, uh, and so other skills. This corner we kept from 1980s. Here you can see the first play on the theater of Bukhara, uh, which, which dedicated to the life of Abu Ali ibn Sina, and it was put on the theater in 1980s. So, the weeks of Avicenna in 1980, a film about Avicenna, which was so uh, put on TV in 1980s also. So this hall is called the thousandth anniversary of Abu Ali ibn Sina. In this hall, first of all, you can see 
the photos of famous scientists of Bukhara, Faizullah Khajaev, Fitrat, Ahmad Donish, and Ibrahim Muminov. So Ibrahim Muminov was the first president of the Academy of Uzbekistan USSR in 1950s. So uh, he was the initiator of this museum also. But the famous person is Safo Yuldashev. So he was born here and he lived here also. Uh, and uh, he found a number of books from his house suddenly. So, and he decided that uh, these books are holy books. And when he read these books, he found that the book, one of these books, are the book of, is the book of so, uh, Jurjani, so the close uh, pupil of Abu Ali ibn Sina. Uh, then he gave this book to Ibrahim Muminov when he came to Afshana with a visit in 1950s. Here is the opening of this museum in 1980s. So, uh, the government celebrated the thousandth anniversary of Abu Ali ibn Sina in 1980. A medal which was adopted in Iranian Republic on the thousandth anniversary of Abu Ali ibn Sina in 1954. So, here is a picture of the skull of Avicenna, which was took by Said Nafisi. This part of the museum is called Abu Ali ibn Sina in the years of independence of Uzbekistan. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the books. So there are the books uh, of Abu Ali ibn Sina, a canon of medicine, which was printed in the years of independence of Uzbekistan. So uh, also the place which was put on theater of Bukhara. So uh, the actor is Shamsuddin Yuliyev. And we have a regional library named after Abu Ali ibn Sina Medical Institute and a number of streets by the name of Abu Ali ibn Sina. The first president of Uzbekistan, Islam Karimov, visited our museum and uh, the Medical College of Afshana in 2007 on the 14th of June. In 1998, so, uh, the president of UNESCO gave the gold medal of Abu Ali ibn Sino to our president. This is the Hall of Gifts. So uh, these gifts are the gifts from Tajikistan, the books which were printed in Tajikistan about Avicenna. So the gifts from Russia Federation, also books. So here are a number of presents which was given to our museum. So, uh, two books from United States of America, from France, from Italy. And now, pay attention to this picture. This is a famous picture of medieval centuries of Europe. Uh, so, Galen and Hippocrates at the center of its center. So, Galen and Hippocrates began the medicine, but Avicenna so uh, was drawn as a king of medicine in this picture. Dear students, uh, the gifts from Iranian Republic. So here you can see the picture of mausoleum of Abu Ali ibn Sina and inside of this mausoleum. Now we are in a famous place of museum. This is a symbolic grave of Abu Ali ibn Sina. So a piece from his grave from Iran was put here, so the Muslims come here and pray. Dear students, we are in a last hall of the museum, so the hall is called the Modern Medicine of Uzbekistan. Here you can see some pictures uh, of the hospitals of Bukhara, the modern hospitals, I mean, so, and the function of Medical Institute of Bukhara. And now, I want to pay attention to this monument. This monument also was made by Bruns in 1980. The author of this monument is Klinsky. This is all about the museum of uh, Abu Ali ibn Sina. I think you enjoyed this museum. Uh, and dear students, we have a lot of places of interest and historical places. So I think we have another trips in another museums and places of interest of Bukhara. 
have a good day goodbye